All right. So I'm gonna try to pry this, set this camera up so that you can see. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. So right here, we've got this little ring right here. Okay. I take a knife, stick it underneath there. Don't cut yourself. It's not always the easiest thing to do, but there. Get your blade up underneath it. Just work it around. Pull it off. A little brass seal right there. And then I've been taking a knife. And I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I'm just getting all the little shit off of it. Real lightly. I'm not pushing the blade towards it to cut into it. I'm just dragging the edge over it to kind of knock some of the heavy shit off. Okay. And it's, it's taken quite a bit off. Now, do the same thing right here at the tip where the fuel actually goes in. keep those holes from getting plugged up. Wipe this off. Okay, now this right here, I'm not going to take my blade and dig it into the metal. Just carefully like that. Okay. There's one. This one here. Cutting off. There's two. Cut that one off also. These ones are normally brittle when they're bad, so we'll see how it goes. This one's actually not bad. Look at that. It's got some electricity to it. I'm gonna replace it anyway. So it's all new on here. Okay, and then you got your metal ring. over just like you're doing a piston work it around pop it in the next groove work it around pop it down work it around until it comes off okay get my rag here clean all this up okay then we go backwards Metal ring. Now there's a sharp edge up and a smooth side. I'm putting the smooth side up and the sharp edge down just so that it kind of seats into the O-ring a little better. And you just, you know, work it on up there. Just like that. Okay, next one is this flat one. So take it and work it around. Pop it over. Boom, that's done. Lock it back. This one's going to be this purple one. Put it on. Work it around, work it around. Stick that in the groove. Work it around. And then you got your pink one here. It's going to come up. It's a little stepper. Get it up there. There we go. One. Put that on. A little brass one here. Now there's a, a bump on one side and two bumps on the other. I've been putting two bumps down. I figure they might seat up a little better. Am I be doing it backwards? I don't know. I've never done it before. We'll find out. Taking this washer to help me guide it on. There we go. Got it. Pinch my fingers every single time I do that. So, there we go. And your injector's got new seals on it. It's ready to go back in the truck. Okay. Now, before you just jump on this crap, some things you're going to want to grab. For prying your injectors out, that is not going to work. These guys work so much better. It's kind of ridiculous. You're going to want to take this off so that you're not breaking it when you're prying it out. This is the one that I use right here to take it out. Make sure you unplug everything. Um, this one right back here, 
is actually still pretty good. But you just slide that up, you put your, your pry bar underneath it, and you pull it out. Sometimes they're a bitch, but they will come out. Before you take your injectors out, you gotta bleed it though, okay? Little bleeder plug there, bleeder plug there, okay? And this is a breather up here on the top. There's another one back there. Where is it? Right there. Um, but it's these little plugs right here. Take those out. The oil bleed out. That way you don't get a whole lot down inside your, your hole there. I got a lot in there. I shouldn't have, but it is what it is. So when I put my injectors back in, I'm going to turn it over by hand slowly. That way it doesn't compress and bend a rod. Okay. So turn that over a couple times, two, three times, get the stuff out of it, and then you start turning it over. Um, it has, it's going to have to build oil pressure and all that shit and oil for it to start firing up again, so it's not just going to kick off and run like a dream. But there you go. Ugh. Research it a little more. Just don't just watch my video and then jump on it. But thought I'd give you a quick go on how doing this is.